everybody! Today we are going to make bibim naengmyeon, cold, spicy, chewy noodles. I said chewy. Last time we learned how to make mulengmyeon. Mulengmyeon is cold noodles with a really icy cold broth. But today we are going to learn bibim naengmyeon. Bibim, you know the bibim, bibim pap. Bibim means mixed. You can mix this with a really spicy, sweet, and sour sauce. Every family and every restaurant has their own recipe for this seasoning sauce. You will learn mang cheese seasoning sauce. This is one of my cookbook recipe. I just am going to make the exactly follow my cookbook. So you guys are already have my cookbook. You will see, oh, right, in that way. You don't have my book. Wow, I can learn this here instead of buying cookbook. <laughs> so either way, let's start. Are you guys ready to cut something? <laughs> snip, snip, snip. Naengmyeon, dried, dried noodles. This noodles are made with wheat flour and buckwheat flour and starch inside. When noodles are cooked, very chewy. I used the last time in you know, the same noodles. You will see this kind of noodles. All noodles are very thin. Mulengmyeon. But because inside there are packages. Package inside the liquid. One, two, three, four. Four servings. And also this is mustard oil. So it's spicy. So even though we don't use mulengmyeon, a lot of broth, still we need one package at least. It has a little sweet and sour taste inside. Add two cups of water, cold water. Then, this one later I'm going to use two. When you make bibim naengmyeon, first thing you gotta do is to make a nice broth. Where are we going to put this? Hey, raise your hand. I know, we gotta put this in the freezer. So. Like in the freezer around three hours. Perfect. After three hours, it's going to be icy, but slush. I made this already, this one. You see? It's so very icy. I'm going to keep this in the freezer until we are ready to use. For two servings, I'm going to weigh 10 ounces. And this is other leftover is two more servings. So anytime you can make again. And these noodles, I'm going to cook this just before serving because if I cook this in advance, noodles are going to get soggy. Let's make a delicious spicy sauce. It looks like so many items inside, but actually easy. This is Korean pear. I got this from sto Korean store. Uh, these days, not a peak season. Usually, fall season, late fall season is very delicious. And, but yesterday I tasted it, it's really perfect. I'll just make a sugar water. And sugar, around one teaspoon. And when mix. Once I peel this pear, pear is really oxidized quickly and go brown. So to prevent this, I will just soak this in sugar water. We are going to use this half for sauce. And half is going to be garnish. Today, I'm going to cut into all matchsticks. And then, this guy, just so you don't have to cut nicely, and chunk. If you use both pair, or the small size pair, just one pair for the sauce. This guy, I don't care about oxidizing, go brown. We are going to add really spicy hot pepper flakes soon. 
all these things, garlic, ginger, green onion, and onion, we are going to add it just a little by little. One tablespoon or two tablespoon amount. This amount, and let's add this here. Two garlic cloves. Ginger, just a little. I will add just a little bit, about one teaspoon. This green onions are too really large, so I use two. But sometimes green onion is small and thin, and then you can use three. Hot pepper flakes. This is quarter cup. Salt. One teaspoon salt. Sugar. Two teaspoons. One tablespoon soy sauce. Hello everybody. <laughs> this is my hot pepper paste. First time when you learn, probably I, I would feel that, wow, so many things to learn. You know, what is, what kind of ingredients, so many ingredients. If you learn Korean cooking, you have to prepare some Korean ingredients, like hot pepper flakes, gochugaru, gochujang, and bean paste, doenjang, and ganjang, soy sauce. Just uh, only several items, that's it. And then you can make, you can keep, keep making really delicious food all the time. And then gochujang, hot pepper paste. It's around two tablespoons. This sauce should be a little like a vinegary, like a sour taste. I will use white vinegar, two tablespoons. And sesame oil, two teaspoons. This is a salad rice syrup. So you know, you guys already learned Korean cooking from me, probably familiar with this thing. Let's blend. One and a half minutes, I just blend. And until creamy and soft. Tasty, really. Mm. Oh, spicy, nice. I'm going to boil my water because soon we are going to cook noodles. Two more things we need. This is a toasted sesame seeds. I'm going to crush it, toasted sesame seeds here. We're using my mortar and pestle. And also cucumber. I will cut it this to matchsticks. This. Around four inches. And slice thin. So this way you can remove the core. We shred this really thin, thin matchsticks. And this guy, I'll just put it in my bowl. Next ingredient, thread. <laughs> it doesn't mean that you are going to eat. I need this to cut. This is my egg in half. This is a hard boiled egg. Nice. This is my making video, so I like to make it look really nice. That's why I'm using thread, but just usually I cut it in half with my knife. <laughs> my sesame seeds and home, home toast the sesame seeds. Almost gone. I gotta toast again. Oh, my smells, nutty smell. I'm going to add around a quarter cup. Mmm, smells so good. I love it. While I'm cooking, I smell all kinds of delicious smell. That's why this is my, like, naturally, this really boosts my appetite. Funny thing is, one of my friends, 
uh, he says he's, he never cooks at home. He always, he's living in you know, Manhattan, New York City. He always get delivered his food from breakfast to lunch, dinner. He said why he cannot cook is that while he's cooking, he smells all kind of onion or things. And then he, after all food is done, nicely done, he losing all appetite because of the smell. <laughs> Totally opposite of me, isn't it? <laughs> How about you guys? So it makes you, oh, I'm so getting hungry. I gotta eat quickly. I'm going to speed up my cooking. At the really very beginning, these noodles <laughs> here inside, you guys know that, eh? So I'm going to cook this. and cover this. About one minute later, it's going to boil over. Then I'm going to stir this again. And then we need to cook from three to five minutes. So three minutes after, you take this one sample noodle and taste. When you chew this, you should not chew something like a hard stuff. And then also, it should not be overcooked. Three minutes after, it is nicely done. And then you can just rinse in cold water. Otherwise, one minute more, one minute more. Noodles I go soggy is not my cup of tea. <laughs> See? Oh, it's boil over. And stir. I open the lid and let it cook. So now I'm going to drain this water from pail. So four minutes passed. Mmm. <laughs> Chewy, so remove from this heat. And then bring, bring it to the, my sink and just we gotta wash this. This is very starchy, very sticky water. And we gotta really wash it with the cold water and rub this, just like we're doing laundry, right? And then all the noodles, while you are washing this way, we remove the excess starch. For the last rinse, I'm going to add some ice cubes here. Then these noodles. So these noodles are really, really cold right now. And also, last starch is gone. Also very getting chewier. My fingers are so cold. Uh, this time I like to use my stainless steel bowl. And I kept this in the freezer. And we need this guy. Today, <laughs> cold. And then these noodles, we gotta uh, make a divide into two portions. Ooh, my hand is so cold. Our broth. Pour this. Just a little bit because this is going to be a bibim nengnyam. So it depends on how much you like. And this pear and cucumber. And then sesame seeds. This is mustard oil, really nice. The flavor is really nice. And egg on top. That's it. I need this guy, chopsticks. I usually eat this guy later. I 
spicy broth. If you want more, you can add more. So tasty. Cold, really cold. Just when I taste it for the first time, and then my teeth are so cold, I felt sweet and sour, and chewy, sesame oily, and cucumber, crispy pears. So today we made bibim naengmyeon, cold, spicy, chewy noodles. Enjoy my recipe. See you next time. Bye.